In this video, we'll take a look at how Image Labeler works for use with programs like Image Quiz, IQ versions. These are the programs where images have a number of different properties and the images do not occur in a hierarchy, do not occur in a hierarchy like the biological hierarchy. So I've created a set of test images here in this Images Test 1 folder. And if we open that up, we'll see they're just pictures downloaded from the internet of men with glasses or women with glasses or either without glasses and then some toys. And one of those toys has glasses on also. So there's a number of things we can label in these images. This is the image labeler install directory. This is what you will see after you install the program on your hard disk. And we will just go ahead and start image labeler now by double clicking on it. This is all done on the PC. It'll work very similarly on the Mac. When we start the program, it asks you where your images are stored and where you're going to select this images test one file and open that up. And now the program starts and it's created a database. If we go back into the images directory, we would see that there is now a file in that directory called database.csv. It's a kind of text file, a comma separated text file. And that's the database file that image quiz will use. Now when it created this database, it called the first column in the database, the first field, fi file name. And we need that to be called image name. So we're going to either click on the pencil up here or double click on the name file name. And that will let us change the name and we're going to call that image name. Now we need to label these images. We need to put some labels on them. And so we're going to create another column, a field, by clicking on the plus symbol and say, let's call it sex first. Is it a man or a woman in these pictures? We can also create a second field at the same time. And we'll call this one glasses, whether they have glasses or not. So actually that's appeared in the opposite way. Sex comes out here to the right and glasses becomes the first field. So now I'm going to start with clicking on our image name here and then use the tab key to move over to glasses and just start typing and say glasses, yes, glasses and sex male. Tab again takes us to our second image. It's Putin here and we'll say no glasses and male again. Continue a tab. And now that I've typed no glasses here, I'm going to highlight that. I could also do that with a keyboard. And I'm going to copy that by pressing Control C on the PC. I could also highlight it and copy it by right clicking and say copy. Now when I press tab again, I can press Control V and type in no glasses without having to type it. Of course, what goes there is mail, not no glasses. So I'll type mail and type control V here for no glasses, mail again, and it would be no glasses here. I can also put that in by using the mouse, right click and say paste. And then I can click on the next button there. I've got to activate it by double clicking on it if I'm using the mouse and type mail. I hit return that time and return took me to the next empty field. And so this is a no glasses one and mail. Now we have glasses. That was a return that I hit. It took me to the next one in the same column. I used an arrow key now to go to the next column and we want class and sex is male, glasses and male. I'm going to go back to using the tab again. This is glasses and male. And now this is no glasses and female. Now I'm going to use the arrow keys. I wanted to show you those work also. This is just using the down arrow key. And I'm just typing in the sex.
Just going back and checking that because that guy's male. And now we have nothing here. And we could leave that blank. I'll show you what happens if we do that. Let's just leave it blank. And because these have no discernible sex here, even this guy, I'm not really sure, but he's probably male. Call him male. And I think we could decide anything on this guy. And so we'll just leave him blank again. Okay, so we've got some blank areas and we have some um, fields that are filled in. Let's just save this and close image labeler and go and look in our images again. We now see our database. Double click on it to take a look inside of it. Here's our image name field. These are the names of the images without the JPEG on them. Here's our first field, glasses or no glasses. And here's our second field, sex. And they all have some blanks in them. Close it without saving. I'm going to go back and start image labeler again. It's going to ask us again to open our database, open our database of images. Select that folder. And now we have, a, it looks a little bit different in here because we've opened it the second time and some of those fields were completely filled. So they were completely populated. And some of them were incomplete. And so Image Labeler says, well, this person probably wants to complete the fields that were incomplete, so let's just show him those incomplete, those um, images with incomplete fields. And so that's all it's done here, and now we could go in and say, glasses or no glasses here. I'm just double clicking on these and pasting in. Or typing glasses, I hit return that time. Double clicking for no glasses. Just do the no glasses all at once. I'm going to use the arrow keys to go back up. And let's say save. Well, actually, let's exit and we'll see that we get prompted for save. And now we're going to finish with that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how that works in an image quiz program by dragging it over to here's an image quiz program with no images in it. I've just put some images in it. I'm going to rename that to be named correctly, which is the images directory just has to be named images. I'm going to go up and I'm going to drag, get the database. I am going to cut it from in there and I'm going to paste it up here where it belongs in this install directory. I'm now ready to start the program. Log in as myself. The database will now be validated. Just hit return. No errors were found. We can select our images, our first column after the name was glasses or no glasses, we'll add them all. And we can see down here we've got only a single property sex. If we had created more columns, more fields, we could have other properties for them. We could have color, for instance, hair color, any kinds of different things we'd want. Now we want the property only for this. We're just going to ask about the sex of the image and see what happens with that. And we'll go with study images and just take a look at what we've got. And we can see now we have the images labeled male or female. And this should be all correct until we get to an image which we left blank. And now what Image Quiz does in those cases is it says, takes no, puts the word no in front of the name of that field, in front of the name of that column. So here there is no sex. And every place there's a blank, then it just says no, whatever the name of that column or property is. I'm going to escape out of this and I'll exit the program, but that's it. That's how Image Labeler works. You can use it to create your own versions of the IQ programs.